session on momentum investing and today we have with us mr manish dhawan so just write a warm welcome in the chat section just write a just write a welcome in the chat section right so in today's session uh, i'll just introduce uh, manish uh, so manish is a good friend and he is also a brilliant uh, like jo human psychology ki understanding hoti hai to kafi acche se karte hai understanding and he started mystic wealth way back in 2011 after working 11 years in the corporate world and uh, today he has a partner who works on the value strategy to wo value investing karte hai mr daya and uh, manish basically is into momentum investing and factor investing so idea of soic is to understand different uh, types of investing that we do right so abhi tak humne aapse long term investing ki baat ho gayi deep value investing ki baat ho gayi then we have also discussed this idea of uh, like also discuss the idea of growth at reasonable prices and then you have also recently done a video on quant mutual funds so today we'll be having a session on factor investing and momentum investing and uh, with this i'll hand it over to uh, uh, mr manish and i'll also share the presentation right i'll also share the presentation and uh, all right so presentation is visible to all just in the chat section is the presentation visible to all just drop a hell yes great great so with this i'll just hand it over to mr manish and we'll have a round of question and answers after the presentation is over great over to you manish thanks Yeah, just going through the chat. Thanks for the warm welcome. Thanks, Ish Mohit. Thanks, chat. So I'll try and make this uh, particular web uh, webinar as interactive as possible uh, because I've got just what twenty odd slides to discuss things. But uh, I'm a, I'm sure uh, this will get interesting if the audience asks questions and we uh, get into the deep dive. Now uh, a brief about me already. Uh, Ishmoit has given a pretty comprehensive introduction. Uh, I started my uh, career, the investing career, in the year two thousand eleven. Back when I started, uh, we were only into spin-off investing. In fact, uh, the reason we got in to start with was uh, uh, was the book that I read uh, by Joel Greenblatt. Uh, you can be a stock market genius, which is pretty cheesy uh, heading for a book, but. Uh, that book delved deep into how spin off investing has a definite edge although that book was written primarily for the us markets but as it turned out when we started applying it in indian market the tenets and the whole logic held true for indian markets as well in the year 2014 it was when uh, i basically parted ways and i got more and more into the quantitative side of it uh, and to the to the to the extent that i completely devoted myself to uh, only quantitative investing where i am just interested in price action whereas my partner continued uh, his journey uh, and is still doing it the uh, spin off investing and got growth at a reasonable price so as the segregation happened as we speak right now we have three products uh, mystic wealth value which is handled by the anandesh pande uh the entire uh, portfolio is run on uh, opportunities arising out of spin off investing and uh, whereas i run mwm which is mystic wealth momentum a 20 stock portfolio also mmg a momentum product with a, a gold tinge today uh, in this presentation we are going to deep dive into momentum deep dive investing where let's just say if you're a do it yourself investor and you want to create a momentum portfolio all by yourself without taking anybody's help without taking any subscription without taking any mutual fund and you want to do it yourself how to go about it and what all need needs to be done so let's start let's get disclaimers out of the way uh, today uh, although we are sebi registered uh, ra but for today's purposes whatever i'm going to speak is only for information and educational purposes only nothing in this presentation shall be construed as investment advice uh, we may or may not have a position in the stocks discussed there are a couple of uh, random examples that i've shared just to showcase uh, how momentum investing works uh, don't construe that that as an advice we may or may not have any positions in that uh and also please consult consult your uh, savings registered ria before 
uh, investing your hard-earned money. So uh, I see three participants have raised hands to ask me a question or something. Uh, what we'll probably do is we'll handle the question and answer session uh, in the end so that the flow doesn't get affected. Uh, is that uh, the way we want to go, Ishmael? Uh, should we be asking, uh, wait for the question and answer sessions in the end, or? We can do that and throughout the session also, you want any question asked. Okay, okay. Right, uh, before we start the presentation, the first and foremost thing that I would like to uh, bring home the point is uh, the entire investing environment uh, can pretty much be divided into two sets. Either it will be reactive and either or it will be proactive. to react to a given situation, anything has happened, or yeah, you are predicting, you're playing a game of chess with the market, uh, you're figuring out the move of the market, and then uh, based on your analysis, your intellectual uh, total uh, after factoring in a lot of things like uh, the macros and the individual bottoms up approach, you're figuring out that I have to buy this. So either it's proactive or it's reactive. Now, if you're subscribers of subscribers, then you'll know a lot of about the proactive part because he dwells very deep into it, does the uh, analysis of companies and then takes a position. Whereas the world where I come from is very reactive in nature. Uh, what we are doing essentially is that we are removing prediction out of the game totally. And after the fact has happened already, we are taking a call of a reaction ki ye ho chuka hai. And the, and, the, and the underlying theme is that jo hua hai, wahi hota rahega. Whatever has happened in the past will continue to happen. That in a nutshell is what momentum investing is. Now, Mean reversion happens, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but there is a timeline difference between mean reversion and momentum investing. Mean reversion happens over a period of, let's say two to three years of typical business cycle. But before the mean reversion happens, the reaction ensures that we make money because jo cheez upar gai hai, wo upar jati rahegi. Before the mean rever reversion kicks in. The entire purpose of momentum investing is to tap in that time period when momentum bana rahega, before the main revision kicks in. Now, this slide is very important. And the reason why it is important is, is, is because this slide ke baad aapko pata lagega if you as a person are, are a reactive individual or a proactive individual. Because if you don't know that who you are as a person, then if you are momentum investing, kar rahe ho, whereas your bend of mind is value, uh, you will basically screw up things. And the other way around as well. And so this, this is a fundamental question you as an investor need to ask yourself as to whether you are reactive in nature or you are proactive in nature. Or how will you get answer kaise milega? I have a very easy heuristic to uh, find the answer as well. Aap apne aap se ye question puchho, that how important is the question why for you? Koi bhi life mein event hota hai, usme how important it is for you to figure out the why of that particular event. Now, answer to this question will tell you whether you will more likely to be comfortable as a momentum investor or would you be more comfortable as a value investor. As a momentum investor or a trend follower, we don't care about the why at all. It's about surrendering yourself and letting go. We don't want to keep our ego. We don't want to decide why and we don't know why. And so the total surrender is the reactive way of uh, approaching the markets. We will not be concerned about the why and we'll simply follow the price. Whereas proactive way is to really dig deep and have this ego, not a negative thing. Uh, there is a positive out of it as well. Have an ego to find the answer and then preempt the move. That is proactive way of investing. And that in a nutshell is what value investing. 
सो दिस स्लाइड वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट आपको यहीं से पता लग जाएगा कि आपको किस रस्ते जाना है एज अ डी आई वाई इन्वेस्टर डू इट योर आप इतना टाइम लगाओगे इतनी एफर्ट लगाओगे वो उस फील्ड में लगाओ जिसमें योर पर्सनैलिटी इज ऑलरेडी इन सिंक डू वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग इफ द क्वेश्चन वाई मेक्स अ बिग डिफरेंस फॉर यू एंड डू रिएक्टिव इन्वेस्टिंग मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग इफ यू डोंट केयर अबाउट वाई यू सिंपली सरेंडर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन मेकिंग मनी पीरियड I mean, I'm not saying that value investing won't make money, but value investing would basically make money by uh, pondering into the why and getting the intellectual stimulation. Reactive momentum investing में कोई intellectual stimulation नहीं होगी. कोई आपसे question पूछेगा. Uh, let's say another example. आपको पता लगेगा कि momentum investing क्या होती है और value investing क्या होती है. अगर आप किसी, let's say you're on a TV interview and a TV analyst asks you a question uh, on macroeconomics. फेड uh, क्या करेगा इंडियन uh, इकोनॉमी क्या करेगी 2023 में क्या लगता है फॉर ऑल दी क्वेश्चन मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टर हैज सिंपल वन वन आंसर आई डोंट नो एंड आई डोंट केयर वेर एज प्रोवेक्टिव इन्वेस्टर विल हैव अ आई ऑन वेरियस फैक्टर्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन इफ इज अ मैक्रो इन्वेस्टर ही हैव मैक्रो कॉल्स इफ इज अ बॉटम अप इन्वेस्टर ही हैज सेक्टर्स इन माइंड वेर ही थिंक्स वैल्यू इज इमर्जिंग सो दिस इन अन अच्छा is how you can divide the entire sec and you have to ask yourself this question whether you are a uh, reactive in nature or proactive in nature uh, before i move to the next slide it will be nice if we probably have a look at the questions if you have any what, what is just a second what is the meaning of the picture in the slide so there's a lag it's it seems they're saying they're still on the previous slide is it this one right no they're saying they're on the disclaimer slide only no they are in this slide only okay i'm just i think just ask okay we are on the active right okay right. okay whatever is visible on the screen they'll be on that screen. perfect hmm. Okay, so I don't see many uh, many questions per se. Uh, right, moving on. So, uh, so we've uh, clarified that. पहले starting में आपने पहला question यही पूछना है कि आप as an investor uh, reactive हो या proactive हो. Question why का जवाब आप कैसे देते हो? That will give you an answer कि आपको सरेंडर uh, कर भी सकते हो या नहीं कर सकते अगर सरेंडर कर सकते हो तो आप मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग कर पाओगे और अगर द इंटेलेक्चुअल स्टिमुलेशन इज वट यूर आफ्टर एंड पजल सॉल्व करने में आपको मजा आता है देन यूल प्रॉब्ली इंजॉय द वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग वर्ल्ड और ग्रोथ एट रीजनेबल प्राइस वर्ल्ड ना वट इज मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग नाउ वंस वी फिगर आउट दैट मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग इज वट वी वॉन्ट टू डू let's define it now each and every word here is important a systematic way of measuring and ranking the price strength of an asset going long and at the, at the same same time defining the exit plan that is what momentum investing is all about now now let's go one by one first of all it has to be systematic ab agar let's say you went long on a stock based on a news wo tv pe aaya tha isliye maine le liya ya on base of a of a graph of a chart a proper breakout ho raha tha so i bought it uh, or volume you looked at the volume this is unprecedented by volume uh, this particular stock has not seen this kind of volume uh, let's say in last 3 years and you get excited and you buy uh, i'm not saying it's a wrong thing maybe it it has an edge in itself but you you buy based on that uh or you buy uh for x y z reason your friend has bought it or there's a story there's a uh, or you have a view point that there's a uh, ev cycle turn hone wali hai or ya koi koi macro call turn hone wali hai whatever x y z reason is the reason why you buying it if it's not systematic and of course it's not systematic because 
you are getting influenced by the stimuli that is not momentum investing. So that's the first step. It has to be systematic. Systematic bole to mujhe pehle se hi code mein hona chahiye. And anything that is new, which is acting as a stimuli for you to buy it, that's not momentum investing. That's like typical retail chasing a price. Then second come or part comes measuring and ranking the price strength of an asset class. Now, ek bar systematic ho gaya, it has to be defined. Then secondly, let's say let's say Varun Beverages mere radar me aya, or saath me mass stock bhi aa gaya, or mere portfolio me sirf ek stock ki hi jagah thi. Now, kya me dono ko dono le lunga? Nahi. There has to be a measuring and ranking of the price strength. उस रैंकिंग के हिसाब से मैं डिसाइड कर रहा हूं कि कौन अंदर आएगा कौन नहीं आएगा सो देयर इज नो एंबिग्विटी इफ यू लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर डेफिनेशन दैट आई हैव पोस्टेड पहली बात सिस्टमेटिक होना चाहिए uh, इसमें कोई एक्सटर्नल स्टिमुलाइ से मैं इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं हो रहा दूसरी बात रैंकिंग मेजरेबल होनी चाहिए अगर मैंने पांच स्टॉक लेने हैं और 18 आ गए हैं तो वो पांच मैं कैसे सेलेक्ट कर रहा हूं देयर हैज टू बी अ मेथोडोलॉजी व्हिच इज रैंकिंग देम एंड सेलेक्टिंग द टॉप 5 then comes the part, part where you're going long and at the same time defining the exit plan. This is very important as well. A lot of times, a lot of investors, karte to so-called momentum investing hi hai because they are chasing price only, but unka exit defined nahi hota. Un, uh, their take is, ek bar lenge, uske paas sochenge kya karna hai. That is not momentum investing because there cannot be any room for ambiguity in all the decisions, kya lena hai, kab lena hai, kitna lena hai, kab bechna hai. Is sari ki sari cheeze before the decision decide honi chahiye. I tell you something about psychology guys. Uh, agar ye pehle se decide nahi hoga na, to aapko lagega ki ye mene decide kiya hua hai. But the price action will start influencing you. Wo thoda sa niche gira, aapka mental stop loss hit ho gaya. But up stories influence ho gaye ki nahi yaar inka abhi ye jo quarterly update aana ye bahut sahi aane wala hai result uh, apne aap shoot karega price so let me hold on for a little while more now you're putting in discretion into it and it's no longer momentum investing so in a nutshell what is momentum investing koi bhi ambiguity nahi honi chahiye sare rule defined hone chahiye entry ke bhi aur exit ke bhi kitna lena hai uske bhi Now let's get back, get down to the history of momentum investing. Halaki, uh, I kahi padha tha. I read somewhere that uh, momentum investing is as old as the hills. Uh, so I was reading the documents and I came across this uh, Mr. Ricardo, based out of uh, England, who basically amassed a fortune by doing what is called as trend following. Ab ye kitna substantiated hai ya nahi ye I don't know uh, because it's like age old 1800, 1700 ki story hai uh, but they say that it's as old as the hills and he was doing what is typically called trend following, cutting the losers early and holding on with the winners. But for all practical purposes, the academic uh, research on the subject started at in 1940s when Richard Generate uh, in 1940s write, wrote a white paper where he substantiated that in the last 12 months, the stock has gone up, you have to take it from it from it because it continues to go up. Uh, and similarly, in the last 12 months, the stock has gone up, you have to take it from it there is an edge. This is what he wrote in 1940s, as back as 1940s. Then, in the modern times, uh, this is a famous white paper, Jagadish and Chitman, 1993, which uh, same cheese ko or uh, wider universe may apply kiya, alag -alag geographies may apply kiya, and they came to this conclusion that there is an anomaly momentum may push to hai, jo upar jata hai, wo upar jata rata hai, jo niche jata hai, wo niche jata rata hai. Now, this is uh, then I came across this Alpha Architect guys. Wesley Gray is the uh, principal officer of this company named Alpha Architect. Uh, they did a hundred year back test. Uh, and I have provided the link here. I'll share the presentation with you guys as well. If you go through that link, you'll see that uh, US may pitch le saw sal ka back test karke. They basically concluded ke just doing buy and hold of uh, uh, SPY 
S&P 500, which it is, uh, versus running a trend following system on it, the trend following system beats it very handsomely. Sure, there are periods of uh, underperformance where buy and hold works better, but in a long run, overall scheme of things, if you look at the 100 year back test, it beats the daylight sort of it. Uh, to get into the nitty gritties and details, go through that this link that I've provided uh, where they have detailed the, the back test. Now, the biggest factor which got me interested into the world of momentum investing was this, that aap sabko pata hoga ke Eugene Pharma was father of uh, efficient market hypothesis. Uh, usne apni puri zindagi ye hypothesis banane mein nikali ke markets are efficient. Aap kuch nahi kar sakte. The best thing you can do is do index investing because individual investor cannot beat the market at any given point of time. Market knows best. And so individual investing is a waste of time. Uh, you should be investing only in index. Just invest by the market. That's the only thing you can do. Savings, karo, savings ko invest in index. Now, that man who has made his whole life एफिशिएंट मार्केट हाइपोथेसिस बनाने में लगा दी जो कि कह रहा है कि मार्केट को टाइम नहीं कर सकते ही एंड्स अप कंफेसिंग आफ्टर लुकिंग एट द डेटा दैट मोमेंटम इज द प्रीमियर एनामली मोमेंटम में कुछ ऐसा है जो कि बाय एंड होल्ड इंडेक्स को बीट करता है फॉर सम स्ट्रेंज रीजन व्हिच दे आर नॉट एबल टू पिन पॉइंट टिल डेट व्हाई इट हैपेंस बट व्हाट गोस अप कंटीन्यूअस गोइंग अप so this is a, in fact a confession from a person who spent look because look at the commitment and consistency bias guys once you have spent your entire life proving a hypothesis it's very difficult to uh, confess and say ki uh, main galat tha uh, ye ye ek cheez hai jo efficient market hypothesis ko beat karti hai he also confessed that value has a as a factor also works now this is basically the factor dance uh, slide that we made to bring home the same point in India. Matlab, ek hoti hai ke the back test works in US, uh, ke momentum works there. But what about India? In 2009, I have factors ko, uh, plot in 2022. There are many factors that are the quality, uh, uh, low volatility, hai, momentum, hai, or value. Hai. Uh, as you can see, of late quality is not performing well pichle 3 saal se quality ka band baja hua hai but overall it's a factor which works really well in india but even in this the top factor is momentum it beats daylights out of every other factor uh and this is from 2000 and uh, i did this from 2007 to 2022 uh the slide below uh, you can ignore the uh, MWM, which is our product, the yellow uh, yellow worm. The blue and the and the brown worm are the comparison between Nifty and Nifty mid cap indices. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, this is uh, Nifty 200 Momo 30 uh, index. Jiska aajkal UTI ne ek product bhi launch kar diya hai. I think Motilal ne bhi kiya hai. I'm not sure, but I'll have to check. But UTI ne to kiya hai. So you can see that even index investing bhi uh, momentum product mein uh, ye jo karte hai, uh, basically nifty 200 mein top ke 30 uh, momentum products ko select karte hai. even that beats your buy and hold nifty mid cap indices and also nifty as well nifty is isse bhi niche hai this 193 se bhi thoda niche hai so that in a nutshell basically sums it up that momentum is definitely a premium anomaly not just in us but in india as well uh, the factor has hold its stead. Uh, it has beaten all the other factors if you look at the uh, long-term charts. If you look at one year's chart, then of course the factor dance will come into play. Kabhi koi factor chalta hai, kabhi koi factor chalta hai. Pichle ek saal mein, uh, value has been doing really well, whereas quality is not doing well, low volatility is not doing well, and momentum is not doing well either. Pish like eight dates I'll be value is doing well. But if you look at the bigger chart, those are Sat Silek Abita, momentum definitely has uh, performed the best. Now the question comes why it works. Uh Meneske Kafi Bar Sochni Koshishki, but again, uh going back to the first slide, uh the urge of finding why, <laughs> because momentum investor ko why se ko lena dena in so uh, 
ना तो मुझे पता है मोमेंटम क्यों चलता है ना ही मुझे पता करना है द पॉइंट इज इट्स वर्किंग एंड एज लॉन्ग एज इट्स वर्किंग आई एम विद इट सो बट जस्ट फॉर द स्पेकुलेशन सेक पीपल से दैट अंडर रिएक्शन टू गुड न्यूज इज वन ऑफ द प्लॉजिबल रीजन वाई मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग वर्क कि क्या होता है कि अच्छा रिजल्ट आया मार्केट इमीडिएटली उसको रिवॉर्ड uh, नहीं करती उसको डाइजेस्ट करने में थोड़ा टाइम लगाती है लेट से वो सोचती है कि नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर भी वेट करते हैं इफ दिस इज अंस इन अल फ्रॉग इन अ पैन काइंड ऑफ थिंग या समथिंग सस्टेनेबल चेंज हैज हैपन तो वो वेट करने के चक्कर में वो स्प्रिंग टाइट होता रहता है होता रहता है एंड दैट रिजल्ट इन मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग जो ऊपर जाता है वो ऊपर जाता रहता है बिकॉज आपने इनिशियली बड़ा रिएक्शन नहीं दिया this is one speculative reason i don't know if it's actually the reason or not but this is what lot of academic papers claim ki momentum investing ka kaam karne ka ye reason hota hai this is a underlying reason why it works second thing that they say is that it's very simple but far from easy it has long stretches of time with pain uh, my friend anish teli who basically runs a pms uh, by the name of quet capital uh, uh, has this famous line he says momentum works Uh, because it doesn't work all the time or something on those lines what he's essentially saying is that itne sare period of stretch of time aata hai jab it stops working to logo ki patience khatam ho jati hai they throw in the towel train fir se khali ho jati hai and then it starts working again when it starts working again it performs beautifully train mein fir se log aana shuru ho jate hain fir se bhar jati hai and then it stops working again and then again low ki patience khatam ho jati hai like 2018 19 was one stretch of two years where momentum uh, did not do anything acche acche practitioners ne they throw with threw in the towel uh, because it's very difficult to go through that drawdown trigger aa raha hai purchase kar rahe ho stock knowing that fir stop loss hit hona hai fir niche jayega rebalance hota ja raha hai hota ja raha hai and when the train gets empty when the last bull leaves then 2020 uh, 2020 uh, 21 22 ka bull run hap happen happens so this is one of the reason people claim that why it works because there is a stretches of underperformance uh, people leave it and when they leave it then it's again ripe to perform again now i don't know if reason 1 is plausible or reason 2 is plausible this is all speculation bottom line is pichle 100 saal ka back test hai that after stretches of under performance it comes back with a bang and it keeps working now essentially let's uh, dig deep into what exactly is momentum investing or uh, asal mein hai kya practitioner kaise practice karte hain uh, momentum investing basically do uh, types ka hota hai ek aapka hota hai absolute momentum एक होता है रिलेटिव मोमेंटम अब मैंने यहाँ पे चार चीजें लिखी हुई हैं नीचे डुअल मोमेंटम और ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग भी लिखा है ये उसी की एक्सटेंशन हैं जब आप एब्सोलूट मोमेंटम और रिलेटिव मोमेंटम दोनों को मिला देते हो तो वो बन जाता है डुअल मोमेंटम और चौथा चक्का है ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग ये बेसिकली है खाली एब्सोलूट मोमेंटम बट डिफरेंस इज ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग करने के लिए जरूरी है कि आप एब्सोलूट मोमेंटम करो ढेर सारी एसेट क्लासेस पे Like typically in US, CTAs would do it on 15 to 20 different asset classes. Uh, I'll give you a simple example. Let's say something as simple as you have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference between the two? You have taken three currencies: USD, INR, JPY, and Bitcoin. Now, what is the difference एस पी एक्स ले लिया निफ्टी ले लिया इमर्जिंग मार्केट इंडेक्स ले लिया एम एस सी आई ले लिया ना ये सब इकट्ठा करते करते फिर आपने क्रिप्टो के भी दो तीन ले लिए आपने बेसिकली पंद्रह सोलह डिफरेंट एसेट क्लासेस बना लिए नाव यू बेसिकली रनिंग सिंपल ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ एग्जाम्पल आप बोलो कि आई विल गो लॉन्ग दैट एसेट क्लास विच इज ट्रेडिंग अबव इट्स टेन मंथ मूविंग एवरेज एंड आई गेट आउट ऑफ इट वेन इट्स बिलो द टेन मंथ मूविंग एवरेज अब आपको लग रहा होगा कितना सिंपल है ये कहा ही काम करेगा बट दिस इज द पावर ऑफ ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग एंड डिफरेंट एसेट क्लासेस के वो पंद्रह बीस एसेट क्लासेस होने की वजह से आपको पूरे साल में दो या तीन ट्रेंड पकड़ेंगे और वो दो या तीन वाले मेगा ट्रेंड्स विल पे फॉर द लॉसेस ऑफ द अदर थर्टीन एंड ओवरऑल स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स अगर आप दस ईयर का बैक टेस्ट करोगे यूल रियलाइज दैट यू हैव 
been able to achieve a pretty decent CAGR. That what is trend following is in a nutshell. India may applicable is not in India, 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 so that's that. So these in nutshell is, are the four ways you can do momentum investing. One is pure or absolute momentum. We will, we will dig deep into it. What is One is relative momentum. Sirf, uh, comparison. We will dig deep what that is. One is dual momentum. Which is absolute momentum and uh, relative momentum. Ko, dono ko mix kar diya. And the fourth is trend following. Which has been many asset classes. Ke upar, khali absolute momentum. Chala diya. Okay, now we'll talk about absolute momentum. This is my water. Yeah. Just a second, guys. Now, absolute momentum is excess return is equal to total return over past 12 months less the return of FD. FD, I have written it in Factor like sakte. Let's say whatever your opportunity cost benchmark is. Aap absolute momentum mein stock ko ya asset class ko usi se compare kar rahe. That is in nutshell what absolute momentum is. Ke maine ek opportunity cost figure laga liya. Let's say 3 taka. 3 taka US mein 3 taka hi kaafi hai. Wohi milta hai bank mein. Thik. Aap mein kehra hon ke mera asset class kya 3 taka se jyada de raha hai. De raha hai toh uske saath hoon, nahi de raha toh uske saath nahi hoon. That's in nutshell is absolute point. Aap ek asset class ko usko usi ke price action se, usi ki return se compare kar rahe hoon. There is no relativeness, kisi aur ke saath compare nahi hai. Kali usko usi se compare kar rahe hoon. That is absolute moment. An example, I will buy DSP small cap only if its last 12 month return is more than fixed deposit interest. ये बैक टेस्ट हमने किया था मैं इसीलिए यहां पे शेयर कर रहा हूं नॉट दैट आई एम एसोसिएटेड विद डीएसपी और एनीथिंग सो जस्ट अ डिस्क्लेमर आउट ऑफ द वे जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ एग्जांपल वी हैव पुट इट हियर वी डिड दिस बैक टेस्ट एंड सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर दैट बैक टेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट मोमेंटम इन द थिंग कांसेप्ट ये है कि हमने कोई और एसेट क्लास नहीं देखी हमने इस स्मॉल कैप फंड के को ना ही गोल्ड से कंपेयर किया ना ही uh, किसी और एसेट क्लास से कंपेयर किया हमने सिर्फ डीएसपी से ही बोला कि ये इसके पिछले 12 महीने की रिटर्न फिक्स डिपॉजिट से ज्यादा थी कि नहीं थी और हम ये चीज हर महीने चेक करेंगे जब भी हमें पता लगा कि नहीं थी हम उठा के पैसा कैश में डाल देंगे और जब भी हमें पता लगा कि इसकी रिटर्न ज्यादा है तो हम बने रहेंगे दैट्स इट नाउ this is a blog that I wrote, Riding a Mutual Fund. If you want to get really deep into it, just uh, Google search Mystic Wealth Riding a Mutual Fund medium blog. You will come across this blog uh, where the detailed Excel sheet and stuff is shared. Uh, now, what do we do? If let's say, buy and hold in uh, DSP Mutual Fund small cap fund, then you have 19% CAGR return. Banti. लेकिन 2008 के सबप्राइम क्राइसिस में 70 परसेंट का ड्रॉडाउन आता, इट वुड हैव बीन अ 70 परसेंट ड्रॉडाउन फॉर अ बाय एंड होल्ड, स्टिल 19 परसेंट सीजर्स प्रेटी डिसेंट, रिटर्न बढ़िया है, लेकिन बहुत कम लोग हैं जो 70 परसेंट का ड्रॉडाउन हैंडल कर पाते और 2008 में मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली दे वुड हैव थ्रोन आपकी फिक्स डेट जो भी आपको डेट पसंद हो लेट्स सेलेक्ट योर बर्थ डेट जैसे मैं 11th इज माय बर्थ डेट तो मैंने हर 11 तारीख को पूछा कि क्या डीएसपी स्मॉल कैप ने पिछले एक महीने में फिक्स डिपॉजिट रिटर्न से ज्यादा कमाया है कि नहीं कमाया राइट इफ द आंसर इज यस मैं डीएसपी के साथ हूं इफ द आंसर इज नो मैं सारा पैसा लेके कैश पे चला जाऊं फिर 11th ऑफ नेक्स्ट मंथ फिर से वही सवाल पूछूंगा Next previous 12 months, मतलब year to date, previous 12 months में अब क्या उसकी return FD से ज़्यादा है कि नहीं? अब अगर अगर it has moved up और उससे ज़्यादा है, then cash से सारा पैसा लेके मैं uh, mutual fund में डाल दूँगा. Just by doing this, you were able to achieve 27.60% CAGR return, and that's not the kicker. Uh, I'll tell you why that's not the kicker. The kicker is that the maximum drawdown 
नाउ इज ओनली ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट नॉट सेवेंटी परसेंट का खड्डा जिसमें से कोई बाहर नहीं निकल सकता ट्वेंटी सेवन हालांकि ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट का खड्डा भी काफी बड़ा है काफी लोग उससे भी बाहर नहीं निकल सकते बट यूजली ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट इज अज अ वेरी एक्सेप्टेबल ड्रॉडाउन फ्रॉम विच अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल कैन कम आउट नाउ द रीजन आई से ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो इज नॉट अग डील क्योंकि उन्नीस परसेंट सी ए जी आर जब भी आप कोई ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम लगाओगे उसमें आपकी रिटर्न बढ़ने के चांसेस कम है इस पर्टिकुलर केस में बढ़ गई बिकॉज बिकॉज डी एस पी ब्लैक रॉक का जो uh, जो स्मॉल कैप था वो बहुत ही वॉलेटाइल प्रोडक्ट था वो बहुत ही गहरे खड्डे में गिर गया यूजली ऐसा नहीं होता यूजली ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम अप्लाई करने से आपकी रिटर्न बहुत ज्यादा नहीं बढ़ती बट ड्रॉडाउन काफी कम हो जाता है लाइक इन दिस केस ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी परसेंट हो गया राइट थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर परसेंट हो गया काफी काफी बड़ा खड्डे से बचे सेवेंटी परसेंट ड्रॉडाउन की जगह सिर्फ थर्टी परसेंट ड्रॉडाउन हुआ एंड सो दैट दैट इज दफ इन एसेंस द क्रक्स ऑफ डूइंग ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग इन्वेस्टिंग कि आपको इट सेव यू फ्रॉम स्टीप ड्रॉडाउन ताकि आप बने रहो मार्केट में और यू डोंट थ्रो इन द टावल एट द वर्स पॉसिबल टाइम नाउ वी अप्लाइड द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट वी डिड ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग ऑन इंडेक्स इट सेल्फ ये आपने पिछली स्लाइड में देखा था जहां मैं आपको ये दिखा रहा था कि मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग वर्क कंपेयर टू बाय एंड होल्ड निफ्टी टू हंड्रेड मोमेंटम थर्टी इंडेक्स जस्ट बाय एंड होल्ड निफ्टी टू हंड्रेड मोमेंटम थर्टी इंडेक्स गेव सुपीरियर रिटर्न कंपेयर टू निफ्टी but if you apply trend following absolute momentum that we are discussing on it look at the difference uh agar aap khali buy and hold karte to aapko 19% return milta nifty 200 momentum 30 index mein remember these are hypothetical returns guys why because us samay jis tarah ka ye back test hai us samay nifty 200 momentum 30 index to tha lekin usko play out karne ke liye koi instrument nahi tha ye uti ka jo 200 momentum 30 index hai ये अभी दो साल पहले लॉन्च हुआ है uh, उस समय देर वॉज नो वे टू प्ले इट ओनली द डी आई वाई गाइज जो मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग खुद कर रहे थे खाली वही ये अपने लिए बना सकते थे बट बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग अ कंपेरिजन ऑफ एक्सलूट मोमेंटम दैट इज अ रीजन आई एम शेयरिंग दिस हेयर अगर आप सिंपल बाय एंड होल्ड करते तो आपको उन्नीस टका रिटर्न मिलती लेकिन सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट का ड्रॉड ऑन आता वेर एस अगर आपने कोई एक सिंपल सा सुपर ट्रेंड का ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम लगाया होता uh if you want to know more details about what super trend is you can simply google it basically average true range range ka multiplier hai uh usme aapka ek kism ka trend following system ban jata hai aapka stop loss saath saath trail karta hai aapke price action ke sath agar aap simple sa ye trend following system lagate to aapko basically like in this example you can see 17% ki return aati almost 18% ki so return thodi si kam ho gayi but the drawdown which is the main essence of trend following basically aadhe se bhi kam ho gaya now only 22.29% uh, drawdown is there now we come down to relative momentum uh before we do that uh probably we should ask question to make sure that uh, the audience is uh, gotten the concept of absolute momentum at least so any question that you have you can just put it in the chat section below and uh, we can just take the questions so shobhit has a question on tax implication of buying and selling uh yes shobhit that's a valid question in the back test we did not account for uh, tax uh, implications of course agar aap uh, ek saal se pehle buy and sell kar rahe hain to uh, you paying that uh, uh, short term tax yeah right टैक्सेस का तो है सो अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय साइड एज वेल सो व्हेन सच एन इन्वेस्टिंग इज डन इन अ म्यूचुअल फंड स्ट्रक्चर सो लाइक एज कंपेयर टू सो एक्चुअली आई गॉट अ क्वेश्चन सिमिलर क्वेश्चन येस्टरडे ओनली सो समवन वांट्स टू ओपन अ पीएमएस एंड ही वांट्स टू डू सिमिलर इन्वेस्टिंग एंड बट नाउ ही इज गेटिंग कॉट इन डबल माइंड बिकॉज शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन्स और लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन तो क्लाइंट पे आपके लगते रहेगा बार बार एस टी लगते रहेगा but in the mutual fund structure isn't it a bit superior because uh, in on your buying and selling you don't have to pay taxes whereas one whereas if the investor jab uh, uh, investor khud ka vote dalta redemption tab tax banega is scenario mein that is a very valid question ish mohit aur uh, abhi aajkal we are working on this only kyunki uh, ye uh, this is a huge uh, edge in the game for mutual funds 
क्योंकि वो बेसिकली आपने क्वांट फंड का वो अभी किया है वीडियो बनाया है उसमें आपने नोट किया होगा कि उनका चर्न कितना ज्यादा है फोर हंड्रेड परसेंट आई बट दे गेट अवे विद इट उनको कोई इस पर टैक्सेशन नहीं लगने वाला वो फोर हंड्रेड छोड़ के एट हंड्रेड परसेंट भी कर लें एज एट एट दी एंड द कस्टमर वुड ओनली बी पेइंग द शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन टैक्स दैट्स अज बेनिफिट सो राइडिंग अ म्यूचुअल फंड By trend following makes much more sense, definitely. Taxation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Um, alpha index versus momentum uh, index. So that's a question by Watson. Uh, yes, Watson. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, alpha index. Unfortunately, is uh, not investable. हमने इसको copy करने की कोशिश की थी. पहली बात तो जो जो भी प्रोडक्ट्स आ रहे हैं वो उस इंडेक्स को मैच नहीं कर पाते क्योंकि उसके अंदर बहुत सारे ऐसे स्टॉक्स हैं जो सर्किट्स पे रहते हैं सो यू सी दैट देर इज अफॉर्मेंस गैप बिटवीन दर इज अ लैग बिटवीन द इंडेक्स रिटर्न्स एंड दी सो इसलिए मोमेंटम में आई कंसिडर यू का जो मोमेंटम थर्टी वाला है दैट इज अ गुड प्रोडक्ट क्योंकि वो uh, काफी लिक्विड स्टॉक्स में है उसमें रेप्लीकेशन पॉसिबल है राइट right, राइट right. so another question is um like so this is a question i think it is has been common ki jo back testing how do you do it basically is there any tool that you use or uh, like is there any freely available tool as well that you can do it so i'll cover that uh, in my side uh, in in the presentation uh, in in the slide maybe but broadly speaking aapko uh, aap excel pe kar sakte ho back test of course you need to be good in excel अगर आपको थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव करना है और आपको मॉन्टे कार्लो सिमुलेशंस करनी है उसके लिए आपको एमी ब्रोकर यूज करना पड़ेगा द द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आई यूज फिर उसके बाद नाउ वी हैव ग्रेजुएटेड टू पाइथन व्हिच इज वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव आप उसमें अपने बैक uh, टेस्टर्स बना सकते हो और इंट्रिकेट डिटेल्स और uh, चीजें निकाल सकते हो सो माई आंसर इज अल्टीमेट चीज तो अपना पाइथन uh, ही है uh second best is ab broker and third best is excel right right uh any other question any screener for momentum investing i will cover this uh, in detail for diy investors uh i'll share the screeners with you jo aap dekh ke khud ye kar sakte hain right right is there any etf available for momentum investing that's a question by uh, metali i don't know about etf uh, mutual fund hai uti ka bhi hai aur i think motilal us motilal oswal ne kuch launch kiya hai i don't know wo etf hai ya index app please google karke dekhiye right right so more or less we are uh, done with the question so let's proceed with the uh, thing let's let's proceed with the presentation again so we'll have a round of uh, another question and answers after uh, maybe 15 20 minutes right great so let's start with it again so uh, so again to all the tribe members uh, just my idea is ki see what we are doing is that uh, at soic we want to learn through different perspectives ki investing hoti hai ab value investing ki to aapse baat karte rehte hain growth at reasonable prices ki bahut bari baat kari but now this is a different field of investing so there are thousands of ways to nirvana so you take what fits your perspective so that's the purpose of the presentation and doing it with the different different types of investing philosophies and investors will help you to understand the area of investing better in my opinion and then you start finding yourself whatever suits your personality that that is what the goal of the like webinars is that we do so over to you manish bhai again right right like ish mohit said uh, i covered that in the first slide itself uh, aur ye aapko lag raha hoga main wahi baat bar bar bol raha hu but this is very important to know yourself is uh, half the puzzle solved uh, like for example in 2014 i shifted and i realized mujhse value investing nahi hoti uh, a stock is falling and main exit nahi kar raha apni ego ki wajah se ya apni uh, कैलकुलेशन की वजह से दैट्स नॉट हु आई एम वेर एज माई पार्टनर वॉज वेरी कंफर्टेबल इन दैट इनफैक्ट ही वॉज बाइंग मोर एज द स्टॉक्स फॉर फॉलोइंग सो पर्सनैलिटी अपना पता होना बहुत जरूरी है आर यू अ ट्रेंड फॉलोअर इन नेचर डू यू लाइक टू पार्टिसिपेट ऑन द अपसाइड और आर यू 
that intellectual person who's basically playing a game with the market saying i am right market is wrong i'll buy more and i'll i'll prove in the long run that i'm right so ye pata hona bahut zaruri hai and once you know this then problem aisa nahi hai ki value investing mein nahi aayegi aur momentum investing mein nahi dono mein problems aane wali hai but the point is if what you're doing is in sync with your personality you will be more likely to handle that problem with ease compared to the opposite case where you will just throw in the towel and give up so knowing and so ishmoot is doing a wonderful job here by ensuring that he gives you exposure to all the various ways so that you know which one suits you now we come to the second part which is the relative momentum uh an example is पहले तो रिलेटिव मोमेंटम है कि एब्सोल्यूट मोमेंटम में हमने देखा कि हम एसेट क्लास को उसी से कंपेयर कर रहे थे वी वर कंपेयरिंग द एब्सोल्यूट मोमेंटम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एसेट क्लास किसी से कंपेयर नहीं नाउ रिलेटिव मोमेंटम इज एग्जैक्ट ऑपोजिट हम राम और श्याम दोनों को कंपेयर कर रहे हैं कि राम ज्यादा अच्छा है या श्याम ज्यादा अच्छा है आई विल बाई आइदर गोल्ड और निफ्टी विच एवर हैज परफॉर्म बेटर इन द लास्ट एक्स मंथ्स और अगर आप स्टॉक्स पे कर रहे हो तो आई विल बाय टॉप ट्वेंटी फास्टेस्ट रनिंग स्टॉक्स इन माय यूनिवर्स अब आपने इनको आपस में भिड़वा दिया निफ्टी तेज है या गोल्ड तेज है अगर गोल्ड तेज है तो मैं गोल्ड में हूँ निफ्टी तेज है तो मैं निफ्टी में हूँ आई विल डू हंड्रेड परसेंट शिफ्ट एक और हर महीने चेक करूंगा अब जैसे फेब्रवरी में अगर पता लगा कि निफ्टी इज नो लॉन्गर द फास्टेस्ट इन द लास्ट ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ईयर टू डे मैं गोल्ड में भाग गया सारा Now uh, and then next month, फिर उस ट्वेल्व उस उस वन मंथ में उस थर्टी डेज में क्या हो रहा है मुझे कुछ लेना देना नहीं वो uh, उस थर्टी डेज में निफ्टी इज डूइंग वेल आई विल जस्ट प्रॉब्लली सल्क इन द कॉर्नर दैट्स ओके डिसीजन हैज बीन मेड द नेक्स्ट डिसीजन विल हैपन ऑन द नेक्स्ट रीबैलेंस डेट विच इज लाइक से फर्स्ट ऑफ द नेक्स्ट मंथ फिर कैलकुलेट करेंगे नाउ इफ निफ्टी इज विनिंग हम गोल्ड से उठा के सारा निफ्टी में डाल देंगे This in nutshell is what relative momentum is all about. आप इसको स्टॉक्स पे भी कर सकते हो जैसे मैं टॉप ट्वेंटी चीतों के साथ रहूंगा नाउ ट्वेंटी स्टॉक्स सिलेक्ट कर लिए जो सबसे तेज भागे हैं पिछले बारह महीने में दिस दिस इज समथिंग यू कैन कैलकुलेट बारह महीने में करना है या छह में करना है या तीन में करना है या तीन छह बारह महीने की रेट ऑफ चेंज को वेटेड एवरेज कैलकुलेट करके स्कोर बनाना है और उस स्कोर पे रैंक करना है दिस इज समथिंग यू कैन फिगर आउट but once you selected then you're sticking to those stocks so now we did this uh, same system on the uh, 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 on in the indian markets which is called the clean out system and you clean out ek bahut badhiya investor trader hai usne book likhi hai i will highly recommend you to read that book if you're interested in momentum investing uh, stocks on the move is the name of the book Uh, उसमें उसने ओपन ये शेयर की स्ट्रेटजी कि आप सिंपली सारे यूनिवर्स को 90 डे मोमेंटम पे रैंक कर दो मतलब पिछले 90 दिन में सबसे तेज कौन भागा था करने के बाद आप उसमें से टॉप 10 उठा लो ऑफ कोर्स आपको इंडिया में लिक्विडिटी फिल्टर को भी मद्देनजर रखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि बीएससी का काफी सारे कचरा स्टॉक्स आ जाएंगे जो कि आप खरीद नहीं सकते सो आप सो यू हैव टू डिसाइड योर यूनिवर्स आपका यूनिवर्स थोड़ा बड़ा होना चाहिए लेट्स से निफ्टी 500 या निफ्टी 200 अब आप उनको रैंक कर दोगे टॉप के 10 उठा लिए और अब आप हर महीने रीबैलेंस करोगे महीने के एंड में यू बेसिकली आस्किंग योरसेल्फ के आ, अगर ये टॉप 20 में भी नहीं रहा तो मैं उससे बाहर हो जाऊंगा जब तक वो टॉप ट्वेंटी में है लिए टॉप टेन थे जब तक वो टॉप ट्वेंटी में है तब तक हम उसके साथ बने रहेंगे अगर अब अगर वो 21 पे चला गया देन इट्स आउट और उसकी जगह कौन आएगा अगला जो टॉप 10 में नया बंदा आ गया न, नया स्टॉक आ गया इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट नाउ इफ समथिंग एज सिंपल एज दैट इज डन ये भी 17 टका सी दे दिया 2017 से 2023 के अंदर सो दैट इज हाउ मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग वर्क नाउ आई जस्ट गिव यू रैंडम एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम uh from our uh, momentum uh, mmg that we are running uh, which is a combination of momentum and gold uh please uh, again a disclaimer in place i'm not recommending these stocks and i'm not saying ki aapko ye stocks mil jayenge aise karoge to but this is these are live examples how it happened uh so the system picks up this stock varun beverages in this case and abhi iska exit aa gaya hai lekin kyunki month end nahi hua 
इसलिए ये एग्जिट अभी डिसाइड नहीं होगा मंथ एंड पे रिबैलेंस होगा और अगर ये प्राइस एक्शन यहाँ से रिकवर करता है तो आ, तो इसको अभी भी रिबैलेंस अभी भी एग्जिट नहीं करेंगे देन वी वेंट लॉन्ग दिस कंपनी हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स यू सी दैट एरो दैट इज वे वी वेंट लॉन्ग यू सी दैट रेड एरो दैट्स वे वी गॉट आउट सो बेसिकली आपको वो मोमेंटम uh, इन्वेस्टिंग ऑलमोस्ट न्यू हाई के पास ज्वाइन कराएगा जब सारी दुनिया सोच रही होगी कि इसका हो गया ही तो इतना ज्यादा ऑलरेडी ओवरप्राइस्ड है या इसका इतना मूव ऑलरेडी हो चुका है बट द इंटायर प्रमाइस जो चलता है वो चलता रहता है एंड वी आर बेसिकली कैप्चरिंग दैट पार्ट ऑफ द मूव नाउ इट विल नॉट वर्क ऑल द टाइम दिस इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड एम डब्ल्यू एम का आवर फ्लैगशिप प्रोडक्ट विच वॉज स्टार्टेड इनिशली उसका विन रेट फोर्टी टू परसेंट है एवरेज थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट ही विन रेट रहता है इससे ज्यादा विन रेट एक्सपेक्ट भी मत कीजिए बट वो फिर भी पैसे कमाएगा क्यों बिकॉज दी वेन यू विन यू विन बिग वेन यू लूज योर स्टॉप्स आर टाइट ये मैंने रॉन्ग एग्जाम्पल फॉर द सेक ऑफ इट दिया है जिसमें लॉस होता है यू बाय एंड देन नेक्स्ट रीबैलेंस पे ही अगले महीने ही इट इट बेसिकली गिवस यू एन एग्जिट एट अ लॉस so i think this was what i don't know 18% loss anyways so this is the story so far the point that i'm bringing home 42% win rate 150% outperformance on from the benchmarks uh and uh, the current drawdown is 17% aur aisa nahi hai ye full proof investing hai ye bhi aapka khoon nikalegi like we had a maximum drawdown of 28% in 2018 19 ka uh, slow down and so uh, and i'll be very honest with you lot of our clients left us uh, almost 30 40% of our clients left us at the worst possible time us samay jab bane rehna chahiye tha and they could not enjoy the entire ride uh, of the 2021 so momentum investing is not a holy grail by any mile any means uh, stretches of uh, underperformance comes where it tests you that is the reason i i keep coming back to that slide you need to know who you are if you believe in the concept then that will help you in sustaining those bad periods now another point comes is ye to hua momentum ki baat ki aapne sabko rank kar dala aur jo rank kiya wo wahi cheez khareed li then comes adjusting for volatility sharp ratio ke aap google kijiyega wesley gray ko fip which is frog in the pan uh wesley wrote a very wonderful blog on frog in the pan entire concept being ki hum un stocks mein rehna chahte hain jo consistently 45 degree pe aise aise move ho rahe hain na ki wo jo achanak se momentum mein aa gaye koi earning surprise aaya aur achanak se upar gaya aur humne usko long kar liya aur pata laga wo pump and dump story thi aur bas phatak se niche gir gaya aisa hoga but as much as as much as we should we should try and avoid those situations or wo situation avoid kaise ki jati hai by weighing the stock returns against its volatility yani ki hum momentum stocks ko rank karenge inme se sabse kam volatile kon hai aur hum un stocks pe long honge and uh, jo stocks ki volatility zyada hai aur momentum zyada hai unko punish karenge unka rank niche aana chahiye wo select nahi hone chahiye we did an interview with wesley gray uh in our podcast stoic talks aap google kijiye stoic talks uh, you will come across these amazing podcasts that we have done uh wahan par detail mein wesley ne bataya ki wo kaise ye fip ko calculate karta hai aur kaise volatilities ko adjust karta hai and it punishes those stocks which are highly volatile and momentum and uh, rewards those stocks jo ki momentum mein to hain par unki volatility kam hai now there are few pitfalls that need, you need to be uh, concerned about whenever you doing momentum investing ye char panch cheeze aapko dimag mein rakhna bahut zaruri hai momentum investing karne se pehle pehli cheez survivorship bias ab jaise agar main abhi current nifty ke stocks pe momentum investing karunga apna back test run karunga to aap manoge nahi cagr aayegi 45 se 50% आई एम नॉट एग्जेजरेटिंग उसका रीजन ये है कि डेटा गलत है ये डेटा 
ऑलरेडी सक्सेसफुल स्टॉक्स वो निफ्टी फिफ्टी में है तो वो सक्सेसफुल है ऑलरेडी सक्सेसफुल स्टॉक्स पे बैक uh, टेस्ट कर रहा है आपका बैक टेस्ट सारे स्टॉक्स पे होना चाहिए जो कि नहीं रहे जैसे सत्यम होना चाहिए उसमें uh, जो कि अभी लिस्टेड ही नहीं है तो वो जब आपके स्टॉक ने उस आपके पोर्टफोलियो ने उसको लॉन्ग किया था और वो गिरा था वो आपके स्टॉक उसमें दिखना चाहिए यस बैंक दिखना चाहिए सो करंट लॉट पे नहीं करना दैट इज सर्वाइवरशिप बायस आपको ऑथेंटिक डेटा पे करना है एज इज उस समय जो निफ्टी था एंड सो सर्वाइवरशिप बायस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रीजन इफ योर बैक टेस्ट इज नॉट अकाउंटिंग सर्वाइवरशिप बायस वो एक्सेप्शनली बढ़िया रिजल्ट दिखाएगा जो कि सच नहीं है सेकेंड इज ओवर ऑप्टिमाइज अब आप बैक टेस्ट करते समय यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट देर आर लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ इंडिकेटर्स ऑन योर चार्ट आइडली लाइक हाउ बी डू इट हमारे पास सिर्फ एक ही इंडिकेटर है और वो इंडिकेटर है प्राइस हम सिर्फ प्राइस को ही जज कर रहे हैं अगर आप उस पर आर एस आई भी लगा दोगे कि आर एस आई इतनी होगी तब मैं लॉन्ग करूंगा ए डी एक्स भी लगा दोगे जब ए डी एक्स इतना होगा तो मैं यहाँ कर ये करूंगा फिर आप बोलेंजर बैंड्स भी लगा दोगे कि जब वो बोलेंजर का ब्रेकआउट करेगा तब मैं लूंगा स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन भी लगा दोगे ए टी आर भी लगा दोगे वो बनेगी खिचड़ी एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड ओवर ऑप्टिमाइज कर फिटिंग बैक टेस्ट पे तो आप दिखा दोगे कि आपने फिर पचास टका कमा लिया सी ए जी आर पर वो इतना ऑप्टिमाइज है इतना ऑप्टिमाइज है कि उसका एक इंडिकेटर भी ऊपर नीचे हो गया तो पूरी रिटर्न का हो जाएगा बेड़ा घर एंड सो दैट इज बेसिकली यू फूलिंग योर सेल्फ अनलेस यू सेलिंग अ प्रोडक्ट टू समन और आपने खाली हाई सी ए जी आर दिखानी है वो अलग बात है बट इफ यू डूइंग इट फॉर योर सेल्फ और अपना हार्ड अर्न मनी डालना है उसमें देन यू शुड नॉट डू ओवर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन यू शुड ओनली डू योर बैक टेस्ट ऑन प्राइस इट सेल्फ प्राइस से बड़ा इंडिकेटर कोई नहीं है उसके अलावा कुछ नहीं चाहिए थर्ड इज ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट अब आप बोलो कि मैं रिबैलेंस डेली करना शुरू कर दू तो रिटर्न ज्यादा सही आएगी आएगी बट यू हैव टू फैक्टर इन जब आप डेली रिबैलेंस करोगे तो दो चीजों की कॉस्ट बढ़ेगी एक तो आपकी मेंटल कॉस्ट आपका दिमाग खराब हो जाएगा आप स्क्रीन के सामने बैठे रहोगे और दूसरी बात एवरी टाइम यू डूइंग दिस टू एंड फ्रो इट्स एडिंग टू द ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट एंड इन द ओवरऑल स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स जब आप साल का कैलकुलेशन निकालोगे वो ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट इज ईटिंग बिग टाइम इन टू योर प्रॉफिट सो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द लाइन कि आपको रीबैलेंस कब करना है डेली करना है वीकली करना है मंथली करना है या क्वार्टरली करना है ना वेन वी डिड दिस आई रियलाइज कि मैं ऑल दो मंथली रीबैलेंस मोर और लेस जनरेट द सेम रिटर्न एज वीकली रीबैलेंस बट मैं फिर भी वीकली रिबैलेंस करता हूँ बिकॉज आई नो इन एम डब्ल्यू एम माई पर्सनैलिटी इज नॉट इन सिंक विद होल्डिंग अ लूजर फॉर अ मंथ इन अ क्रैकिंग मार्केट थिंकिंग के ओवरऑल स्कीम में तो फर्क पड़ता नहीं मैं खाली फर्स्ट को ही करूंगा और पंद्रह को ही मार्केट टूटना शुरू हो गई है अगेन यू नीड टू नो हु यू आर एज अ पर्सन एंड इफ यू नो इट आपको पता है मैं वीकली से ज्यादा पेन नहीं देख सकता तो वीकली रिबैलेंस इज वर्ड्स गुड फॉर मी लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इन आवर अदर प्रोडक्ट एमएमजी मिस्टिक मोमेंटम गोल्ड वी डू अ मंथली रिबैलेंस व्हाई आई एम कंफर्टेबल डूइंग अ मंथली रिबैलेंस देयर इज बिकॉज देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ 30 परसेंट गोल्ड इन इट तो वो मंथ में कितना भी गिर जाए थर्टी परसेंट गोल्ड विल क्रिएट अ वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन वी हैव डन दिस इन बैक टेस्ट एंड वी रियलाइज दैट दिस इज वेल विद इन आर थ्रेश और बैक टेस्ट की भी बात नहीं है क्योंकि बैक टेस्ट कई बार आपको सच नहीं पता था कि वो वीकली में बैक uh, टेस्ट में बता रहा है सब सही था क्योंकि वो नीचे गिर के वापस आ गया है मंथ uh, के एंड में बट उस वीक में जब वो नीचे जा रहा था यू आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल इट सो सो दिस इज अगेन यू हैव टू इन एट द टाइम ऑफ ए बैक टेस्ट यू हैव टू डू दिस एनालिसिस द ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट एनालिसिस डू द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स एनालिसिस कितनी ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट बढ़ रही है वर्सेस कितनी मेंटल पीस मिल रही है ड्रॉडाउन के अगेंस्ट देन फोर्थ इज पर्सनैलिटी सिंह अगेन आई कीप कमिंग बैक टू द सेम पॉइंट दिस हैज टू सूट योर पर्सनैलिटी लाइक वेन आई वॉज डूइंग दिस प्रैक्टिस आई रियलाइज दैट माई पर्सनैलिटी इज नॉट इन सिंह फॉर अ ट्वेंटी स्टॉक हाईली वॉलेटाइल पोर्टफोलियो टू हैव अ मंथली रीबैलेंस इसलिए मैंने वीकली रखा वेर एज थर्टी स्टॉक विद गोल्ड इज ओके फॉर अ मंथली रीबैलेंस सो यू नीड टू नो क्रिएट अ स्ट्रैटी इन अ पोर्टफोलियो एंड अ स्ट्रैटी दैट इज इन सिंह विद योर पर्सनैलिटी क्योंकि आपको ही चलाना है किसी और को नहीं चलाना जब मुश्किल आएगी तो 
इफ इट्स नॉट इन सिंह तो आप वो फॉलो नहीं करोगे फिर स्ट्रैटी Now here's a gift for our viewers. Uh, this is something that I came to know uh, from uh, from Slack channel that I'm part of. Uh, first of all, I will highly recommend you for all the DIY investors, जो खुद करना चाहते हैं, आप प्रशांत कृष्ण का Slack channel का member बने. Uh, this is a very vibrant forum जहाँ पे सारे momentum investors इकट्ठे होते हैं और सारे codes share करते हैं, Python codes share करते हैं. Uh, आपस में अपने मोमेंटम पोर्टफोलियोज डिस्कस करते हैं हैंड uh, होल्ड करते हैं एक दूसरे को इट्स अ वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर एनी बडी यूज इंटरेस्टेड इन डूइंग मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग वहीं से मेरे को वन ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स शेयर दिस ब्यूटीफुल चार्ट लिंक का कोड यू कैन सिंपली कोड दिस ये बेसिकली शार्प रेशियो कैलकुलेट कर रहा है स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन कैलकुलेट कर रहा है आपकी रेट ऑफ चेंज कैलकुलेट कर रहा है एंड उसके बाद आपको सिर्फ uh, हर हफ्ते या हर महीने जब भी आपको रिबैलेंस करना है क्लिक करना है इट विल गिव यू नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स व्हिच आर मैचिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर क्राइटेरिया सो जस्ट टू गिव यू एन एग्जांपल जब मैंने ये सी 500 पे रन किया था अभी एटीन uh, जनवरी को uh, दो तीन दिन पहले तो दीज आर द स्टॉक्स दैट केम इन माय स्क्रीन मैथ स्टॉक आर बी एन एल फैक्ट यूनियन बैंक जे एस ज्वेलर्स महिंद्रा सी बैंक इंडिया ब्ला 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 अब आपको क्या करना है सिंपली द सेम मोमेंटम टेक्निक दैट वी डिड इन द क्लीन आउ एग्जाम्पल इन सब पे लॉन्ग करना है डिपेंडिंग ऑन आप, आपका बैक टेस्ट क्या कहता है टॉप टेन टॉप ट्वेंटी टॉप थर्टी जितना ज्यादा करोगे उतनी वॉलिटिलिटी कम होगी उतनी रिटर्न कम होगी और जितने कम रखोगे जैसे आपने पांच स्टॉक पे करना शुरू कर दिया तो आपकी रिटर्न ज्यादा अच्छी होगी लेकिन वॉलिटिलिटी भी uh, काफी वाइल्ड होगी नाउ एवरी मंथ एवरी वीक वट एवर यू डीम फिट यू रन दिस स्क्रीन अगेन इनमें से जो जो बाहर निकल गए उनको निकाल दो जो जो नए आए उनको अंदर डाल दो और यू कैन डू वट क्लीनो वॉज डूइंग जो टॉप ट्वेंटी से बाहर निकल गए उनसे निकल गया और जो नए आए उन्होंने दे सब्सिट्यूटेड नाउ अनदर गिफ्ट फॉर यू फॉर यू गाइस फॉर डी आई वाई इन्वेस्टर अब आप एक बात सोच रहे हो कि वाई एम आई डिस्कलोजिंग सच अ ट्रेड सीक्रेट एंड दिस इज वेरी इट गेट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग गाइज There is no trade secret in momentum investing. Strategy is not the edge. Implementing that strategy and sticking to that strategy with discipline is the edge. ये मैंने आप सबको बता दिया हजार लोगों को गिन के पांच लोग भी इसे फॉलो नहीं करेंगे Take my word for it. That's how it works. That's how important the discipline part of it is. There's this guy Abhinav Mehrotra. He is also member of that Slack community. On his website, he has shared this uh, entire uh, spectrum of momentum investing. वो C N X 500 के not just 500, 750 के all universe Nifty के ranking आपको free में provide करता है. So all you're supposed to do is just go to that website and see. और ना सिर्फ इतना वो अपना डुअल मोमेंटम का मैट्रिक्स भी वहां पे सब कुछ शेयर करता है इट्स अ वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव वेबसाइट एंड गेस व्हाट इट्स फ्री सिमिलरली अनदर गाय विराज खतावकर आई होप आई एम प्रोनाउंसिंग हिज नेम करेक्टली ही शेयर्स द सेम थिंग ऑन हिज सब्सट्रैक्ट यू जस्ट बिकम मेंबर ऑफ हिज ईमेल सब्सक्रिप्शन ही शेयर्स एवरी मंथ के कौन कौन सी क्या क्या रैंकिंग है यू जस्ट सपोज टू फॉलो दैट यू कैन बिकम अ मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टर योर सेल्फ पॉइंट इज ये सब से नहीं होगा डिसिप्लिन से होगा to have the ability to do it over and over again no matter what happens kyunki stretches of underperformance aayegi mere dost and to to have the ability to still do it is is the game changer now learning never ends uh ye to crude form of momentum hai of course aap isko aur uh, uh, sundar bana sakte ho by creating index filters ke main kab cash call lunga आप इसको और सुंदर बना सकते हो बाय गेटिंग इट वॉलिटी एडजस्टेड जो मैंने आपको बताया जो वेस्टली ग्रे करता है एफआईपी फ्रॉग इन द पैन कैसे फ्रॉग इन द पैन को हटाना है और कंसिस्टेंट 45 डिग्री वालों उसको रखना है आप हमने ये पॉडकास्ट किए थे वेस्टली ग्रे के साथ जिसने फ्रॉग इन द पैन डिस्कस किया प्लीज लिसन टू दैट पॉडकास्ट गैरी एंतोनाची के साथ जिसने डुबल मोमेंटम का कॉन्सेप्ट समझाया जिसने बोला कि एब्सोलूट मोमेंटम को रिलेटिव मोमेंटम के साथ जोड़ो और फिर निफ्टी और गोल्ड में आ, करो दैट इज अज 
अफकोर्स उसने निफ्टी में नहीं किया इज बेस्ड आउट ऑफ यू एस ही डेड इट बिटवीन एस पी वाई इमर्जिंग मार्केट्स एंड बॉन्ड्स एंड ही शेयर सिक्सटी ईयर बैक टेस्ट सजेस्टिंग एंड सब्सटैशिएटिंग द ह्यूज एज कंपेयर टू बाय एंड होल्ड देन वी डिड अ पॉडकास्ट विद रेल्फ वेंस वो टॉट एस पोजिशन साइजिंग कि कितना पैसा डालना है Uh, कितना डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करना है कितना एलोकेट करना है लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इन एमडब्ल्यू एम वी डू अ फाइव परसेंट एलोकेशन ट्वेंटी स्टॉक्स एंड सिमिलरली इन एमएमजी एम जी थर्टी परसेंट गोल्ड में रहता है बाकी सत्तर परसेंट गेट्स इक्वली डिवाइडेड इनटू थर्टी स्टॉक्स सो लर्निंग नेवर एंड गाइस लिसन टू दिस पॉडकास्ट लिसन टू द बुक्स डेट वी डिस्कस्ड क्लीनाओ की बुक्स पढ़े गैरी एंतोनाची की बुक्स पढ़े रेल्फ विंस की बुक्स पढ़े वेस्ली ग्रे की बुक्स पढ़े and uh, keep honing your skills and uh, and the journey continues now there's yet another gift for you uh now this is for the D, uh, people who are not diy investors agar aap do it yourself investors hain aur aap khud karna chahte hain to to maine aapko itne sare resources bataye jahan se aapka learning curve chhota ho jayega aur aap apni uh, journey start kar sakte hain for those of you who don't have time jo apna kaam karna chahte hain और अपने काम में बिजी हैं दे के नॉट डिबोट दिस काइंड ऑफ टाइम टू रैंक द स्टॉक्स एंड स्टफ आई हैव अनदर गिफ्ट फॉर यू सिंपली सब्सक्राइब टू आवर ऑफरिंग्स मिस्टिक वेल्थ मोमेंटम और मिस्टिक मोमो गोल्ड एंड एड मोमेंटम एक्सपोजर टू योर पोर्टफोलियो दैट्स अ फैक्टर दैट यू नीड डेफिनेट एक्सपोजर टू आपने वैल्यू का एक्सपोजर तो ऑलरेडी ले लिया होगा आई एम श्योर बिकॉज आप इश मोहित के सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं इफ यू हैवेंट गेट गॉटन द एक्सपोजर ऑफ फैक्टर ऑफ मोमेंटम uh feel free to do this and because you've given us so much time uh on a sunday uh here's this soic 40 discount for you just apply this uh, code on our small case website and you get a 40% discount and this is applicable only for the month of january for all the soic members uh with that it's a wrap and i'm open to question and answer session thank you so uh thank you so much manish bhai for the session and uh, now we can have a round of questions and answers if the tribe members have any questions so we can take the questions and recording of the session will be uploaded within 24 hours so just opening the chat section just before i open the chat section like one or two um <clears throat> like questions from my end as well so manish bhai suppose um they say like to get this idea of momentum investing again so momentum investing we are trying to sort of react to price volume changes whereas in value investing what we are doing is uh, going before the price volume changes happens right exactly so a fundamental guy like who has studied the company well and uh, he's got on to the catalyst and stuff ye catalyst play kar sakta hai so can those catalysts be mixed with price volume changes that the market has started agreeing with him that it has started playing out very interesting so what you are referring to ishpoit is uh... what is called as techno funda investing ye totally alag hi field hai uh isme see lot of times i and i keep getting this call from a uh, lot of value investors uh that this is a problem that they probably face is that they have sorted the problem of getting in andar aana to unko aa gaya but so many times they exit uh when their intrinsic value has come Uh, in the market, the market current price is equal to their intrinsic value, or they get out. Whereas the euphoria catches on their stock, and they miss the entire rally. So this is definitely a problem area which techno funda probably can come in handy, where your buying decision remains your own, whereas the exit can be done on any trend following system. Now that is not momentum investing per se. Right, right. But it is trend following. In other words, that means you have your exit, then your price action ke basis pe decide kar rahe ho some kind of a trailing stop loss that you reply right right uh another question so i think uh, just in the chat section to last uh, week kis kis ne volatility stop wali class attend kari thi just in the chat section just drop a hell yes and kis kis ne recording dekh li great great so i think what uh, like to make your like selling more method wise i think that is one thing that can help us so manish bhai just a question on this only so what is the difference between super trend and volatility stop uh, agar if someone is using volatility stop it's similar 10 length and 3 as the uh, same 
Same, same, right? Yeah, they are both same. The calculation is done exactly same. The only probable problem probable difference is आप ATR को कई लोग कई बार adjust करते हैं, कई लोग close पे calculate कर रहे हैं, कई लोग high पे calculate कर रहे हैं. These are just entry cases. Otherwise, it's a volatility stock only. Right, right. So, any question from the audience? So, uh, we are open to taking. Please try to ask very good questions. And on that ATR thing, uh, two parameters are basically just pe wo, uh, trail karte hai. Ek hai look back, ke kitna piche hai, aur dusra hai multiplier. Ke right. Us volatility ko kitne se multiply karte hai. That's it. Look back and length is the yeah. same thing. Yes. See, ten, agar 10 months ka karte, 10 months. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. So, question uh, Does momentum investing work in a bear market? Uh, very good question. So, uh, as you have seen, uh, momentum investing, as the name suggests, will work when there is momentum in the market. Or the momentum nahi hoga, it will it will do bad. Now, it depends what kind of uh, beer market it is. If a sudden crash, hai, then momentum will do really well because it will take a cash call. But if it's a top uh, beer market, which is like a 2011 kind of situation, then momentum uh, will not do well and it, it will have uh, bad drawdowns. So like in choppy markets, you're saying it can be uh, bad. So like side trending markets. Yes. Like for example, when the Corona crash happened, we did very well because we were 100% in cash with only a 9% drawdown. But the 2018-19, that's when the way we suffered. 2011 is also a time when we suffered. Right. So currently, like we are in sideways market. So this could be uh, like a little bit challenging period. For challenging. Momentum. Exactly. So this is a challenging period for momentum. It has gone nowhere in last one year. Uh, we are in close to 30%, 34% cash right now. And right. uh, we are pretty much where we started. Right. Right. Um. Hiten has a question. Generally, it is believed that bears make most money during momentum. Does it mean momentum winners would be more on short bets than uh, long bets? Or is it that momentum investing is only uh, going long? Uh, interesting question, Hiten. Uh, momentum investing, as the academic research has panned out, US pe to wo jab bhi karte hai, wo long short dono karte hai. Uh, India me uh, bhi white papers likhe hai, wo sirf long only hi likhe hai. क्योंकि शॉर्ट इतना पॉसिबल नहीं है क्योंकि इतना बड़ा यूनिवर्स नहीं है शॉर्ट का लाइक uh, like आप सारी की सारी कंपनीज को शॉर्ट ही नहीं कर सकते एंड सो टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चंस यस मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग शुड वर्क ऑन शॉर्ट साइड एज़ वेल बट पर्सनली व्हेन व्हाटएवर आई हैव कोडेड आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू कॉल कोड अ सक्सेसफुल शॉर्ट ओनली सिस्टम लॉन्ग शॉर्ट शॉर्ट में इट वर्क्स but Kali short may profitable. I've not been able to code. Uh, maybe that's got to do with my lack of skills. Uh, but to be fair, Mirko India may be koi nahi mila jo jiske pas successful short system. Right. So this actually reminds me, there's a friend of mine who um, actually works at a long short fund. So long ideas. So he's been able to do well, but even in shorting, he has thrashed the market. Nice. And uh, because he's a fundamental investor, so he's able to identify the fundamental problems in the company. Then he mixes uh, some uh, like technical, like the state analysis and technical indicators along with it. Got it. And he shorts the company. So I tell you what, you've answered the question yourself, Ishboy. See, he's doing what is called as discretionary short. Right. right. That, that guy can nail it uh, out of the park. But uh, I am referring to a coded shot, right. which is not possible to do because, of course, when you're discretionary, you exactly know the stock and you have a fundamental view ki ye tutega. and now he's, he's just applying a trend following system. That is totally different. It's totally discretionary. Right. Whereas if you have to code it and you have to apply the same code on 20, 30 stocks, then the entire system will not work. Right. Right. Uh... So Ujwal has a question. You mentioned using Python programming. Do you use any sort of machine learning in your methodology? Uh, we don't. And uh, I like to, this is my opinion, and this may be very controversial. Uh, no one in India is using machine learning either. If they are claiming it, uh, they're lying. Right. 
so raj uh, jo bhi slack channel ke names hai na the after after the presentation i'll just put it on the telegram channel and uh, this presentation i'll also share it as a pdf on the telegram channel so you can take your time and go through it very comfortably at your own time right the uh, cha charting ka bhi wo jo uh, code hai that is also a part of the presentation so you can simply go through the presentation and wahan se aap control c control v kar sakte ho ha manish to hindi mein bhi try kar rahe hain answer karne ka so any uh, question so farshad there's a question that how do you manage like black swan events like covid maybe going to cash and something like that so, so our uh, mwm has a inbuilt uh, uh, cash mechanism code in it uh, it takes the cash call based on the uh, uh, broad market breadth indicators so that saves us uh, but uh, mmg does not have any such mechanism it remains in uh, stocks but because mmg has 30% gold in it uh, that acts as a natural hedge so manish bhai a question from my side so a question which is a very relevant uh, which is very very relevant because we we do value investing right so over the years i have seen that factors a lot of them they move together they say just as an example that agar uh, commercial vehicle pichle 3 saal se acha nahi kara and all of us and ashok leland starts reporting good results so it's not maybe jam auto in this cycle but craftsman automation is really moving together with it because they have already given a guidance for 20% volume growth similarly like usme zfb hai jo brakes banate hain unki so the moment these companies start reporting good results abhi inke results aaye nahi they start anyways doing well hmm. and uh, whenever uh, like the cycle goes down the companies also go down similarly like jaisa bhi tech factor in us and in, even in india if you look at uh, tech companies uh like all all of them aren't doing well maybe they're more linked to interest rates as well so how do you deal with this idea that factors are moving together and can it be created into a system where you are actually getting these factors where an entire ecosystem is moving to, uh, together because we look at it fundamentally so we have seen that agrochemical companies do well when there is food inflation in the world because farmers get money and then they spend more money on uh, chemicals and the distributors are also stocking up so a lot of these factors they move so they like they are like they start moving together types like gold ka apne example liya so like you were talking about gold so i think i was thinking about ifl finance as a business because uh, your gold aum all of a sudden it starts increasing and you can see you can actually lay down the stock chart of gold, like gold price of uh, like the commodity gold and the stock price chart of ifl finance and ifl finance is like 60 70% up in last one year and gold is also ripping so how do you think of this scenario if someone thinks like this yeah this is a fascinating way of thinking and i think you're on the right track the only thing is as long as it's codable because right. otherwise this is a mixture of again techno funda right which works as well uh, i'm not saying it will not work but kya aap use code kar sakte ho that's the that's the entire thing like for example your underlying premise is already that you you know ke ye wala sector bottom out ho chuka hai and now the Uh, the winners one thing which i can add from the discretionary point of view is that i have noticed this time and again if after any correction ek bear market ke baad jo pehli baar us sector mein 52 week high marna shuru karte hain ya new high marna shuru karte hain more often than not they are the torch bearers of the next bull run wohi leaders rehte hain so my to answer your question if you can code it then this is of course you can create a sector based momentum investing uh, strategy as well but agar wo code nahi ho sakta aur aapka underlying bottoming out process aapka discretionary hai like you know you in the industry you know ke ye wala sector bottom out ho raha hai par wo code nahi hua to then it's a techno funda thing kyunki aapne uh, apna fundamental dimag lagaya sector decide karne mein now you using technicals to write them so uh, link to this actually because we have ta taught a lot of students this idea of relative strength so uh, like in 2020 a lot of pharma and chemical companies were coming under relative strength and it companies and then they led the uh, they were the torch bearers for next two years awesome interesting yeah and today financials are coming under relative strength because yeah. um, fundamentally results have broken out true and kali dekha kota kon sab ke results kaise aaye and we also saw ki how the like, market gave you some time as well to uh, like uh, make your understanding better yeah. so do you use relative strength as well and uh, what will you uh, like can, can it be also created into a system wise thing if you, you use it basically uh, i don't but definitely i know lot of people who in their momentum uh, portfolios uh, 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 pay heed to the relative strength yes and this in itself is a pretty uh, huge thing uh, 
I know a lot of people, uh, the who's who, who's doing it and relative strength is one of the, I think Nuresh Mirani also uh, gives uh, importance to relative strength as well. Right, right. Because what ends up happening is that that um, Stanley Druckenmiller keeps saying that uh, he never uses valuation to time the market. He uses liquidity, liquidity. concerns. Yes. But value, valuation will only tell him ki where the valuations can go. go in that bank. Yeah. Once that catalyst enters the play, that is liquidity. Beautiful. Because yeah. even if we are using rare, uh, if we even if we are using relative strength, uh, and if we get like our valuation multiples are cheap, so it is actually a faster way to make better IRR because the catalyst has entered into play and your valuations are cheap. So the multiple can itself expand. If uh, the, that is something that I've seen a lot of investors doing in the, in the network. So Harish has a very uh, like a good question that Maniji, what is the best source to uh, learn Python, especially from backtesting point of view? Suppose if someone is purely a beginner, so how does he go about uh, learning Python and backtesting and all these things? Yeah, the answer, uh, I will not be the authority on the subject, I'll be honest, because uh, Mystic Wealth has pretty much outsourced its requirement. We have Vinayak, who's our guy, the Python guy. Uh, he's got a big 10 members team. And so he takes care of our Python requirement. Uh, Python, I'm sure uh, you can YouTube it. Today, there are a lot of zero to one courses. Uh, I don't know, Coursera pe bhi Python ke courses. Hai. Right, right. So uh, I think Coursera or YouTube pay, you'll find a lot of courses on uh, Python. So that is somewhere you can explore. So a question from Prashant Kumar is, uh, hi Manish, in which form do you buy gold? Like ETF or index uh, or gold, gold, gold funds? Yeah, it's a gold piece. Okay. Yeah, we buy uh, the ETF, yeah. Right, right. I, I saw the question, can we pyramid into conviction stocks in momentum investing? That's a very interesting question we did a back test on this and here's a problem first of all to answer your question yes you can definitely do it and it'll give you crazy good returns but here's a problem and the reason why at least i was not able to do it you get top heavy uh already momentum investing is like aap winners ke saath bane rehte ho aur losers ko khatam kar dete ho. now what happens is that over a period of time like i'll give you a live example Adani group mein humare 4-5 stocks long ho gaye the aur wo bhi double ho gaye the to at one point of time MW hem had uh, almost 50-60% Adani exposure uh, which can which can get pretty top sided uh, top heavy ab aap us pe socho aap pyramiding kar rahe ho you are adding more on to your winners there will be a situation jab ka ek hi stock 40-50% ban jayega and so that is the risk at least we were not willing to take although backtest suggests that it will be profitable but problem is aapki volatility bhi bad jayegi and then drawdowns bhi bhoat bade bade aayenge because when one of the stock pe sab kuch dala hua hai and when it will break then the whole portfolio will break right so just a standard disclaimer uh, ki, uh, as a part of this uh, like discount offering so this is uh, just purely and purely meant for SOIC students so we as a commercial entity we don't get anything out of this so it's just meant for SOIC students because we believe ki if we are uh, like bringing a lot of good presenters so you should also get value out of it and uh, as uh, mentioned up uh, like for in the forefront we basically we don't get any commercials out of it as well so just to give you a standard disclaimer so that out of the way so another question is can we get the same discount on mystic value investing so uh, soic 40 this discount code is applicable on every product right so uh, if you can choose any good questions if you think so i'll also like keep it when do you run the top 20 screener and again rebalance it? Uh, Parag has a question. Parag, we don't do this, friends. I just shared the clean now back test with you. In that back test, we were doing a rebalance every month. Uh, but we, in our systems, we are not following clean now. Right. So Praveen has a question. So if we decide to rebalance on weekly, should exit or entry to be done on Friday before market closes or on Monday when market opens? Uh, you can run back tests on both. Overall scheme of things, mein jada farak nahi padta. Uh, you can do it on Friday close or like we do, uh, everybody basically buys on Monday average prices. Right. So, uh, so all the names and all the Slack channels, I'll just post it in the te Telegram group NC. So don't uh, worry about that. 
Uh, so Ayush has a question. Does the momentum factor on investing strategies vary with locations like US and in the Indian markets? Does it work differently in both the markets? No, the momentum as the uh, system should work. In, in fact, this is a very good question. And if you're uh, one of the things is if your backtest is doing really well in one market and really sucking in the other, that basically means that uh, your system is optimized. Ideally, uh, momentum should if if the edge has to play out, uh, edge has to play out regardless of geography. Right. But of course, the, uh, to answer your question in detail, intricate details can be different. Like, koi 52 week high trade kar hai, koi all time high trade kar hai, koi clean out trade kar hai, koi FIP trade kar hai, that can be different. So, um, indicators you recommend for momentum investing, any indicators that you particularly are fond of? So, Vatsal has asked that question. I answered this question. We at uh, Mystic Wealth follow price and price only. Price action. That's yeah, it. That's it. Uh, no, not uh, volume also considered. With you? Volume is used for uh, filter to ensure that ekdam wo BSC ka kachra na hai. So we ensure ke liquidity problems nahi lechi. Otherwise, not even volume. Okay. So Parag has a question. Uh, wh when do you do rebalancing? Uh, for the for the mystic wealth momentum 20 stock portfolio the rebalancing is weekly uh, not necessarily that we'll buy or sell everything uh, anything that week but we'll take the decision every week for mmg mystic momentum gold uh, rebalances monthly we do it every first or second of month so kumod kumar gupta has a question ki, can python be used for fundamental screening to resource to learn python investing i think resources uh, there are courses available on youtube and uh, like all sarah so can python be used for fundamental screening too yes definitely and as we speak i know my friend uh, stoic talks mein jo my partner puneet khurana my co-host uh, he runs something on these lines he uses python extensively uh, and also uses ace equity to fetch data and do some work there. Right. So I think so uh, Manoj has a question. So uh, this is one of the like cons of momentum investing, which I hear from uh, like a lot of people as well. So don't you think that churning every month and keeping all your funds in cash and again investing is a hassle? It is. Uh, so that's a uh, that's a very valid point. This is the reason I don't do dual momentum myself and we don't have any such products in the offing either. Like dual momentum works on the premise that you have put all the nifty and put all the gold and put all the gold and put all the nifty. Uh, Backtest suggests that there is an edge and it works. But the point is how many people can 100% gold? I can't put it in gold, so that's why I don't have any such product. Right, right. Just a second. So Ajay, we actually have posted an entire course on uh, technical analysis for long-term investors. So we have two classes. I think there are three classes on it, then that course will be done. So Ajay, you can watch it in the SYC membership. So a separate course on technical analysis has been made. And I think with this, all the SYC membership is complete. Financial literacy, ka bhi, I think, in one day, it will be Technical analysis, bhi ho gaya, fundamentals. Bhi ho gaya. So it's like a complete thing in the membership, which you want to learn. Uh, Hitesh has a question can relative strength index be used as a part of momentum investing I think we already had a discussion on this yeah so the answer is yes you can do it uh, you can definitely create a uh, filter uh, which will give you stocks which are uh, relatively performing better uh, but momentum investing is momentum investing even without the indicators right uh... I'll take some good ones. So Karthik has a question. So I was about to ask if you would still be investing in companies where we have known there are like corporate governance issues and integrity issues, but it comes under momentum investing. Uh, yeah. So uh, I have a simple logic to it. And the logic is that when I back test karte same, uh, quality ya integrity filter nahi lagaya tha then I have no right to apply that filter now. And so I have to be consistent. Usme jo bhi aayega, hum usse khari denge. 
Right, right. So again, Karthik, this is a different style of investing. So uh, like take all the pros and try to make your own perspective. And uh, there are multiple ways, even in momentum investing, there are multiple styles. So that is the beauty of investing. There are thousands of ways to Nirvana. And which one do you choose? It is up to how you are as an individual, right? So, uh, so Harish has another question. So what are the points to be kept while doing back testing? And what factors do you uh, tell your Python team to back test on? Uh, so I, I shared the pitfalls uh, already. Uh, ke, uh, survivorship bias ni hona uh, another thing that we do is do stress testing of our back test. Ke, let's say top ke five winners. Hata uh, is it still profitable? Kahi aisa to nahi ke top ke panch ya che profitable trades ne hi sara paisa kama ke diya hai. Uh, if that is the case, then probably it's not a good system. Because if you have missed five trades, then the whole system will So there are various stress testing things that we do. Then there is uh, Monte Carlo simulations. That simulation tells you, okay, broadly speaking, what are the return expectations? And broadly speaking, what are the uh, worst drawdowns that you can have? So Jay has a question ki, do you have any restriction in number of stocks in the portfolio and maximum ex exposure on a particular stock or a sector in momentum investing just as a risk management practice? Uh, great question. Uh, so MWM is a 20 stock portfolio. So 5% is the starting allocation and uh, we don't care how, how big it wants to become. But, but because the structure is coded in such a way that it infinity not go to infinity, corrections will come and the exits will uh, hit. So uh, Rajiv has a question. Ki, I've not understood how to proceed further as a momentum investor. Can you please summarize or give any pointers? Ki, suppose if I'm a beginner, I'm no nothing investor, like sub, when it comes to momentum. So how do I proceed as a beginner? So uh, Rajiv, uh, pehle ye, uh, Slack channel join karo. Uh, all, read all the books, read the white papers that are written on momentum investing, both in India and uh, in US. Uh, do these three, four things, you'll be in good stead. Then a Google Sheet. Then on Google Sheet, pe start tracking uh, these stocks. Start ranking them. Uh, basic Google Sheet, pe Excel ka formula. Dalo. Unko pichle month ki strength pe rank karo and see how they're performing. Back testing, ke liye, I'm afraid you'll have to dig really deep. Aapko Excel seekhna padega, ya, uh, find someone who's good at it or uski collaboration mein kaam karo. Yeah, Amy Broker Karo, yeah, Python Karo. Uh, but if you have back test or Kali implement karna, then I've pretty much shared uh, all the screens with you uh, from where you can find the top stocks and devise your own strategy. Exit plans uh, device karo or entry points device karo. Also, on this topic, Rajiv, if you have to do this, you have selection criteria, sif, let's say, new high receptive. Uh, any stock that is hitting a monthly high will invariably be in our momentum screen. So okay. these things will be a good start. So Ro Rohit Aj has a question. So like, are you like market cap agnostic or do you apply any market cap filter? Uh, we're totally market cap agnostic, but uh, uh, there is a, uh, uh, there's a liquidity filter. So that ensures that uh, 4,000 crores are not the company. Nahi aati. Right, right. So Watsal has a question on magic formula with momentum investing. I think magic formula is referring to Joel Greenblatt's uh, formula of ROC being this much. And actually, I was doing a lot of back testing in fundamental investing. Mein. Mm -hmm. Usme rangi type companies, 8K mile type companies, mm -hmm. time pe man beverage type companies. Who are the companies coming today? Today, those companies are coming mm -hmm. are fundamentally jo, uh, fundamentals are just not about fundamentals. Fundamentals also include valuations. Valuations wise, we are we are up screener made a logo as of the cocoa to what many many companies are in SE companies are in Jimmy which fundamentally corrupt children. So I think what's all the time of magic formula investing is gone, but love because accounting won't reveal the truth. You have to go to the business story if you really want to do fundamental investing. I think that's all Pelish I'd say Chaljada because that's all Pelish markets India may be the efficient Niti, but because markets India may be efficient or the Jari, uh, see not at all the times markets are efficient, but as more and more liquidity starts coming in, so markets, they start becoming a little more efficient slowly, slowly. So up India may magic formula type cheese and it's very difficult for it to work. You can have the filter in your mind. 
कि मेरे को इतना आर चाहिए इतना अर्निंग्स ग्रोथ चाहिए इतना वैल्यूएशन चाहिए बट यू रियली हैव टू गो देन ड्रिल थ्रू द बिजनेस बिकॉज जस्ट एज अ फंडामेंटल स्क्रीन दिस विल लीड यू टू ह्यूज लॉसेस and uh, i've seen like i've on a i used to be a part of whatsapp group and people were running this strategy and they got all type of companies like 8k miles aaya kisi ke paas bakrangi aaya us time pe 2017 18 mein and all of them lost money at the end of the day so when to buy how how like how long to hold and when to sell these are the things we can learn from when to sell especially from technicals but when to buy and how long to hold that is fundamentals and valuations i think if you are a fundamental investor that is where fundamentals will help you a lot with but your magic formula just in my view it has uh, like stopped working in the indian context so uh, do you combine any fundamental screens with momentum investing uh, no we don't all right right so Dhirendra has a question, sir. When you say correlations like food inflation and Actium companies' performance can be coded, do you mean the logic is difficult to code, or uh, or can you elaborate? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, I was referring to the fact that this is uh, discretionary in nature. Uh, how will you code this? Uh, unless until your underlying uh, assumption uh, was fundamental in nature, to your analysis ka crux tha. Usko ap code kaise karoge? Right. So Prashant has a question. Hi Manish, can can you explain what are your criteria to exit a stock? Elaborate on time stop or stop loss basis. So uh, we have uh, absolute stops and relative stops. Uh, I will not get into the details as to how it is, but the point is uh, we have both the stops in place. यानि कि अगर उसका worst rank है uh, worst rank held ही काफी नीचे हो जाए तब हम निकल जाएंगे. और वो एब्सोल्यूट लेवल पे लेट से बीस तक ही टूट गया तब भी हम निकल जाएंगे राइट राइट सो आई थिंक सेकर एज अ क्वेश्चन सो सेकर कीप्स आस्किंग वेरी गुड क्वेश्चंस इवन ऑन द डैश बोर्ड एज वेल सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग सो सेकर एज अ क्वेश्चन मे बी दिस इज ले मैन क्वेश्चन व्हेन डू यू डू वीकली रीबैलेंसिंग विल इट टेक केयर ऑफ बाइज एंड सेल्स ऑटोमेटिकली फ्रॉम स्मॉल केस मतलब आई थिंक वो तो दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्मॉल केस प्रोडक्ट इटसेल्फ कि अपने आप बाय सेल हो जाते हैं या सो आई टेल यू द इंटरनल्स हाउ इट वर्क्स वीकेंड पे वी पुश द रीबैलेंस मंडे को द क्लाइंट्स गेट द ईमेल दे जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट बटन जो जो रीबैलेंस हमने यहां से वीकेंड पे पुश किए थे वो उनके डीमैट पे चले जाएंगे सो ऋषिकेश व्हाट वी विल डू इसकी जो भी स्लैक चैनल्स के एंड जो भी चार्टिंग स्क्रीनर का वो था लिंक uh, मैं आपके साथ अभी टेलीग्राम पे जस्ट पोस्ट द सेशन शेयर कर दूंगा फॉर दोज वर वाचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अटैचमेंट द स्लैक चैनल नेम्स एंड लाइक एंड द चार्टिंग स्कैनर विल बी शेयर्ड विद यू एज एन अटैचमेंट फॉर दोज हुएवर इज वाचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ दिस सो आई थिंक देयर आर नो मोर क्वेश्चंस एंड वील सॉर्ट ऑफ राइट सो देयर आर नो मोर क्वेश्चंस सो लाइक What is the so one more question that comes from Vinod? Is what is the average holding period of stocks in momentum investing? Ah, uh, that's a very interesting question. The maximum we've been able to hold a stock was around nine months, ah, uh, when it went ah uh, berserk. Ah, uh, but uh, usually now these are two different products. Remember, MMG ka hold jada hota hai because uska ah uh, churn uska rebalance monthly hai. MWM on an average holds a product a uh, stock for around two months. Right, right. So with this, I think we'll conclude the session, and uh, because there are not many more questions, so thank you so much, for Manish, for coming and presenting for the S O I C tribe. Just everyone, just write a thank you in the chat section below, because see, investing at the end is learning about different perspectives, and whatever you find comfort in, that is what you have to go uh, basically go ahead with. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope to see you in the next session of SOIC. And next twenty ninth uh, January, go we are meeting for a session on valuations. And this time, a lot of new case studies are prepared. And this time, I am going to confuse P ratio. So, be very confused. Going to ask questions, ask questions. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Manish, for coming. And uh, this drop a thank you for Manish in the chat section below, so that uh, like it adds a lot of value to the presenters and to the audience as well. Right. Thanks, audience. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope I was able to add some value to you guys. uh you gave me your time on a given sunday thanks ishmoit for providing the platform and uh, uh i i really had a good time thank you thank you to your tribe members thank you manish bhai thank you hope you all of you have a great sunday jai hind bye bye